In this video, we will be taking a look at the Proxmark 3 RDV 4.01 and the modular accessories that increase the performance of this must-have device. It is the smallest and most versatile Proxmark 3 currently on the market. When you purchase a Proxmark 3 RDV4 from HackerWarehouse.com, you will receive 1 Proxmark 3 RDV 4.01 PCB with short-range LFHF hybrid antenna set and PVC housing. 1 SIM SAM card adapter. 1 T5557 card. 1 Generation 1A1KS50 card. A set of extra screws, mini screwdriver, and a guitar pick for prying open the casing. 1 USB to USB micro cable. Unlike previous revisions of the Proxmark 3, the RDV4 by RRG comes fully assembled and ready for setup on your system right out of the box. The low frequency antenna set from RRG comes with two modular LF antennas, one medium ranged and one long range. Each antenna features toggle switches for frequency and Q value so that you can fine tune the device based on your target. The high frequency antenna set also comes with a medium and a long range HF antenna. The ferrite low frequency antenna module was designed by Prox Grind and Tom Harkness for use with implantable RFID chips. The Blue Shark battery and Bluetooth module connects to your Proxmark 3 RDV4 using the ribbon cable connection adding both internal battery power as well as Bluetooth functionality to your device. This allows you to use your device without a USB cable or external power supply, increasing utility in the field. To access some of the device's features, you will need to remove the PVC housing that covers the default antenna and main PCB. The dip switches for tuning the LF antenna are located on the back side of the antenna. Using the supplied guitar pick, carefully pry the two halves of the PVC housing covering the main PCB and remove the top half. This is where you will find the FPC interface for use with the Blue Shark module. Just above that is the SIM card port. Connect the included SimSAM adapter here to interact with smart card chips. Although the default antenna set is perfect for most applications, installing one of the modular antennas for specific use cases is quite simple. Remove PVC antenna housing from the device by sliding it down and away from the antenna. Use the guitar pick to remove the rest of the case and expose the main circuit board. Using the supplied screwdriver, remove the six screws connecting the default antenna from the main PCB. Replace the default antenna with desired custom antenna, making sure to align the connection points to the correct side of the PCB. Replace the six screws to connect the antenna to the main PCB. Medium range LF and HF antennas are small enough to replace PVC antenna housing on the device, but the long range antennas and LF ferrite antennas are too large and must be used without the housing. Installing the Blue Shark battery and Bluetooth module is slightly more involved. Remove the antenna from the main PCB the same as the last procedure. Locate the FPC interface in between the two sets of three antenna connections. Carefully lift the gate to open the FPC interface. Locate the FPC wire on the back of the Blue Shark module. Insert the FPC wire into the FPC interface on the main PCB making sure that the exposed connection pads are facing down. Align the three plastic posts on the back of the Blue Shark module with the post holes in the PCB and back half of the PVC housing. Carefully snap the Blue Shark module into the back half of the PVC housing, enclosing the main PCB. There are two dip switches located on the right side of the module that activate the power supply and the Bluetooth connection. Make sure to check out our other tutorials on using the Proxmark 3 RDV4 on Hacker Warehouse TV. To purchase any of the devices and accessories seen in this video, visit our online store at hackerwarehouse.com. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep it between the laws or at least between the lols.